Hello students. Today we are going to learn about uh, tessellations and how to do a tessellation project. I was inspired to do this uh, lesson from another photography teacher. We're going to start off by downloading the Viking small JPEG. All right, so we're going to use we're I'm using Photopia for all this. All right, um, remember the pirate joke. How does the pirate turn on the rulers? Control R. All right, so if you hit the Control R key, it turns your rulers on. My rulers just turned off. Okay. All right, so this, let's see how big this is. All right, this is a super huge file, and um, we're going to make it smaller. So I want to make at least um, it 500 wide. Okay. Now, I got my mag magnifying glass up here, so I'm going to make it bigger. All right, now I need to change. Um, I kind of want to chop off the canvas. Now, I want you to look at the anchor, how you can change. Let's see if this is going to chop it up. Let's see. Okay, I like that. All right, now we're going to make our canvas. It's 500 by 500 pixels now, and we're going to make it 1,000 by 1,000. So let's go by here and change the canvas size. All right, and I'm going to anchor my Viking head in the top left-hand corner. Okay. Um, now I want you to use your ruler and you're going to put these guides. What you're going to do is you're um, kind of clicking and dragging. Um, and one of the big differences between Pixlr and Photopia is in Pixlr, if you change the canvas size, it would automatically kind of crop the image. But in Photopia, it does not do that. Um, so obviously, I have a little bit of this braid sticking out and I need to fix that. So I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool and um, make a rectangular selection and hit the backspace key on my Chromebook. And then I just clicked over here in the margins and my um, selection went away. All right, so if you click on the eyeball, um, I have one Viking in the top left-hand corner. Um, I want to put three more Vikings in here. So how am I going to do that? All right, well, I'm going to duplicate my layer. Okay, then I'm going to take my move tool and I'm going to drag. It did it again. Look, it, it copied it with the extra bit. Interesting. All right, now, how am I going to, how am I going to flip this? Um, remember, a tessellation looks like, looks like a fractal design. Okay, so how am I going to flip it? You're going to go edit transform, flip horizontal. If that doesn't work, I have to hit vertical. Yep, that worked. Sometimes I forget which one to do it. Now, are these lined up perfectly? No, they are not. So I'm going to click on my move tool. I'm going to make sure I'm in my second layer. Um, I often click my layers on and off so I know which one they are. And I'm using my arrow keys under my shift key on my Chromebook. I'm going to use my arrow keys to make sure. Um, and one of the things I noticed earlier is sometimes my guides will get in the way um, and I have to kind of move them out of the way to make sure because I'll have a little pixel line if not. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out real quick and I move my guide. So let's move that back a little bit. Put that back on 500. All right, now I have my two Vikings. I want to merge them down so they're together as one layer, duplicate by layer, and flip it. So let's do that together. I'm going to um, two-finger mouse click, which is actually a right, right mouse click. I'm going to hit merge down right there. And now they are one. See, I can click it on and off. Okay, good job. And I'm going to hit duplicate layer. Okay. Um, my move tool is still selected, so I'm going to move, move my little dudes down. OK, 
Okay. Now I, I need to flip them. So how are we going to do that? Edit, transform, flip vertically. Let's see if this is it. Yes. Ooh, got it right. All right, let's zoom in because I can't see very good. And we're going to see if we line these up correctly. Now I tell some of my kids the, the images need to kiss. They can't be far apart. Got to be right together, like the kissing. So I'm going to, um, sometimes I take my uh, space bar and, I mean, I take my move tool and hold down my space bar and it turns into a, uh, a move tool. It turns into a little hand and you can move stuff around. <clears throat> I have, this is a small file. It's a uh, thousand by thousand, 72 DPI. Um, sometimes if you move, take the space bar into the hand tool and you're working with a large file, it will actually crash. It will crash your computer. So if you've not already, let's go ahead and save this. <clears throat> you want to save it as a PSD file and you want to export it. So but let's just save it as PSD. We're still working. Okay. Um, so it's going to save it as Viking small PSD. All right. Thank you very much. Let's zoom out because we are not done. We are almost done, but not quite. Um, this, this really does not, we can push this further. So how are we going to push this further? Let's change our canvas size to um, 2000 pixels. I want you to look at my anchor point. I've got these little dudes, my little Viking heads. I want them to stay in the top left corner and all this area is going to be busted out to the right. Bam. Uh, now let me call your attention over here to the layers palette. Um, there's two separate layers and I want to merge them together. How am I going to do that? Right mouse click, merge down. Bam. Done. All right, so I need to duplicate this layer three times. Now, um, you could duplicate it three times, but then you kind of have to figure out where it all goes. All right, I need to turn this. All right, I'm going to hold down my space. Okay, there we go. I was like, I can't see. All right, um, do you guys see what I see? All right, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to line up my thing. So I am drawing, putting a guide where um, the Viking hair is, okay? Duplicate layer. All right, so it's going to duplicate it, and I'm going to drag it down with the move tool. And then I'm going to go over here. And if you want to come in here, if it gets really confusing, you could you can relabel these. Um, if you're working on a super large file, sometimes that's helpful. Okay, we are almost done. Um, what I need to do now is zoom in and see, um, I, I'm checking my craftsmanship. Now the guides, those little blue lines, when you save your file, they're not gonna show up. All right, so I'm checking out this layer, right? All right. So I'm moving this on a pixel by pixel layer. All right, now I'm going to my bottom left-hand corner, making sure my image is lined up good. Okay. All right, my image is lined up good. Now um, I'm going to save this again as a PSD file. All right, I got four of my four layers. Saving this as a PSD file. Now I'm going to turn this exercise into Canvas Remember, I need to um, export this as a JPEG. I'm going to export this as a JPEG. And this, I think this is going to overwrite my original file. All right, quality 70%. No, I wanted 100%. Okay. All right, so now I have this beautiful tessellated Viking. 
that I am going to um, remember we're turning in the exercise on Canvas. You're going to find an, your own image um, and the project is going to go to Art Sonia. Uh, now, this is a very simple black and white Viking head. I want you to find something um, complicated. It could be a bunch of crayons, a bowl full of M&Ms, a bowl full of erasers. Um, you want something complicated and really bright <clears throat> with hardly, you don't want a lot of white space. I've had um, students do the wrapper of a dum-dum. That's good. Um, so turn that in and message me if you guys have any questions. Bye, my taters.